Now this one here, suppose the link, so the pregnancies of a certain animal are normally distributed with a mean of 150 and standard deviation of 11 days. Complete parts A through F below with probability that a randomly selected uh, pregnancy lasts less than lasts less than 146 days was the probability. So I have to find the probability that it's going to be less than. So I can go ahead, open up stat crunch, go to stat calculators and hit normal okay and I'm giving the mean to be 150 standard deviation of 11 and that uh, the x value here is less than 146 I can hit compute to find the probability. 0 0.3581. And that's what they have there. Part B. Suppose a random sample of 20 preg pregnancies is obtained. Describe the sample distribution. Of the sample means of the pregnancies. Okay. Sample distribution has a mean that's similar to the population mean, and the standard devi sample that standard devi deviation is going to be the population deviation divided by the number of on the size of the sample here. Okay. Also, for random variable x is normally distributed, uh, the sample distribution of the sample mean is normally distributed. First, determine the mean of the sample distribution. Okay, so now you can see that there. The mean of the sample is 150, and then they want us to find uh, the standard deviation of the sample. Okay. So I have the population standard deviation divided by the number in the sample, which is 20, which gives me that there. What is the probability that a random sample of 20 pregnancies have a, a, a mean of 146 or less? That a sample of 20 pregnancies will have a mean of 146 or less? Okay. So I can open up Stat Crunch, Stat and Calculators and Norm. It'll have what's uh, 146 or less. So X is going to be greater than 146, or well, less than 146. I'm sorry. And uh, in my mean. Here is what, one, 150. And my sample standard deviation is, is what, 2.4. 2. 2. And then I hit compute. Find the probability. Okay. And I get 0 0.0519 or 0 0.520 there. Okay. Then they ask about. What's the probability that a random sample of um, 42 pregnancies has a mean gestation period of 146 or less? So, calculate the standard deviation of the sample distribution with a sample size of 20. And this is number D here. Hmm. 
And I hit pause. Okay, for this one here, for D, a sample of N, so N is 42. Okay, we have our mean is 150, so we find a, a sample standard deviation. Okay, we have a popu over population deviation divided by a sample size here. In this case, it's 42. It gives me a sample standard deviation of 1.69. Okay, so then you want us to find this probability that it will be less than 146 or equal to 146. So I open stat crunch. Stats, you know, calculator, and normal. And my mean in this case is 150. Standard deviation is 1.69. Seven three, and it's less than one forty six. Then I hit compute. And I get zero point zero zero nine two, which is what I have here. And that gives me D. What might you conclude? If a random sample of 42 pregnancies resulted in a mean gestation of 146 days or less. Okay. Review the conclusion found in Part D to determine the result like this. Be likely if the population mean is 150. If it is not likely, determine whether the population si uh, sample size is actually greater than or less than 150. It would be unusual here. Okay, and for F, it would be unusual that it would be less than, highly unusual really, that that many pregnancies would be less than the mean. Um, was the probability that the sample size of 7 will have a mean gestation period within 13 days of the mean? In this case here, sample size is 7. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, for part F was the probability a sample random size of size 7 will have a mean gestation period within 13 days of the mean. Use technology. So in this case, N is 7. Okay, so my sample standard deviation is going to be 11 divided by the square root of N. In this case, N is 7. And I end up with 4.1 five uh seven six oh okay so i can open up stack since this is within 13 days of the mean it'll be 13 days plus the mean plus that or the mean minus 13. so that's why i get 137 and 163 here so i can open stack crunch stat and calculators are normal in this case my mean is 150. Standard deviation, I get 4.15760. Okay, and then I, I'm doing between, so I have to put in here 137. And 163. Then I hit compute to find that probability. And I get 0.9982. And that matches what's on the screen there. There. 0.9982. 